Yes, good morning. Today we are going to discuss on the next part of the of this uh, chapter that is types of chemical reactions. Now, as we have talked about types of chemical reactions in my last video, you must have seen that what was the difference between a chemical equation and a chemical reaction. So today, let us see. What are the types of chemical reactions? Number one is combination reaction. <coughs> combination reaction is when two or more elements combine together to form a single element is known as chemical combination example a plus b gives c over here a and b are the elements or the reactants which give together c c is the product over here you can take any of the examples like n2 plus h2 both are gases it gives NH3. So this is our example of a combination reaction. Always remember that the product will be formed one. One product is always formed in this reaction out of two or three reactants. Next number two is thermal decomposition reaction or rather decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction is, as the name suggests, when a compound is broken down into two or more elements is known as decomposition reaction like over here only one compound will be there that is a and it will be giving two products that is b and c <coughs> now the biggest example is or decomposition is of number of types number one is thermal decomposition Thermal decomposition as the name suggests that the reaction is carried out by heating and the reaction is CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. So over here by the help of heat we are breaking down calcium carbonate into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This is what thermal decomposition is all about. We can write it as single element or compound in case of combination reaction. Now, apart from thermal decomposition, there is also another type of react, uh, two types of decomposition reactions that is electrolytic decomposition. Electrolytic decomposition means here. The compound is broken down by the help of by the help of of 
electric current or electricity or electricity like H2O water by the help of electricity or electric current whatever you write let make it as electric current it would be better electric current it will be giving H2 plus O2 the next one is photolytic decomposition here the compound is broken down or rather decomposed by the help of sunlight like AGCL AGCL under the presence of sunlight breaks it into AG plus CL2 so remember this particular reaction is used in black and white photography black and white photography okay over here as you can see silver chloride under the presence of sunlight it breaks down into silver and chlorine. so these are the three decomposition reactions next one is displacement reaction displacement reaction displacement reaction is like for example Fe plus CuSO4 gives FeSO4 plus Cu over here copper is a least reactive metal least reactive metal because according to the metal activity series copper is being displaced by iron and therefore iron becomes iron sulfate and copper is being displaced out so displacement reaction is when a more reactive metal displaces a least reactive metal from a compound we call it to be a displacement reaction this example is also given in the book by the help of a diagram where you can see that a test tube containing copper sulfate bluish in color greenish or rather bluish in color when iron particles are dropped into it you will be finding that the color of the solution becomes colorless this is what we call it to be as the displacement reaction next is double displacement reaction double displacement reaction double displacement reaction as the name suggests 
लाइक एन ए टू एन ए टू एस ओ फोर प्लस बी ए सी एल टू नाउ लुक ओवर हेयर सल्फेट इज हैविंग अ चार्ज ऑफ एस ओ फोर टू माइनस एंड बेरियम इज हैविंग अ चार्ज ऑफ बी ए टू प्लस सो वॉट हैपन्स बी ए गोज एंड कंबाइंस विथ द सल्फेट एंड इट बिकम्स बी एस ओ फोर both of them are having the same charges and see chlorine is having two sodium is also having two so both of them combine together and they form a compound that is nacl so basically exchange of ions have taken place over here iron exchange has taken place over here one more thing you will be finding in the book that is precipitate precipitate what is precipitate precipitate is the insoluble solid insoluble solid just wait insoluble okay insoluble solid that emerges from a solution remember this term precipitate this word actually means that any solid substance when it emerges insoluble solid that emerges from a solution is known as precipitate over here precipitate is this one you will be finding in the book it is written as ppt so this is what actually double displacement always remember exchange of ion takes place and the charges of the ion should be equal over here it should not be like that different charges of different ions can combine like this one if it was so4 minus for example and if this was ba2 plus then it would not have formed a compound this is what it is being stated over here now the next thing is about oxidation and reduction oxidation as the name suggests number 1 addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen like cu 2 cu plus o2 gives 2 cu o now over here as you can see that copper has been oxidized or oxidation has taken <coughs> oxidation has taken place over here similarly what would be reduction addition of hydrogen and removal of oxygen like copper oxide if i react this with hydrogen what i will be getting cu plus h2o so as you can see copper over here gets reduced as a re reduction occurs as hydrogen is being or oxygen is being removed from it at the same time hydrogen becomes oxidized or oxidation has taken place not oxidized 
oxidation has taken place because oxygen goes and attaches with hydrogen to form water and CuO from there oxygen has been removed so reduction has taken place so when in a single reaction both oxidation and reduction takes place we call this to be as a redox reaction remember this term when there is a simultaneous oxidation and reduction in a single reaction we call this to be as the redox reaction now these are the types of reactions that you will be finding remember due to oxidation due to oxidation two things happen one you must have read in your book or you'll be reading corrosion what is corrosion when a metal is exposed to substance such as moisture air water or acid a layer of oxide forms example rusting of iron black coating on silver we often see na that when a, a iron article is being kept outside what do you see you will be finding that slowly and steadily a brown layer comes onto the surface of the iron that brown layer is the oxide layer and why it occurs mainly in the rainy season you'll be finding due to the moisture or due to the rain that is due to the water or if sometimes some acid goes onto that surface that type of thing that forms onto the surface that is that brown layer is known as rust has taken place and the formula of the rust is fe2o3 dot xh2o remember this the formula of rust <coughs> Another thing is rancidity. What is rancidity? All of you like the chips packets and all. So the chips packets mainly contain nitrogen. They remove out the whole of oxygen and nitrogen only remains in its place. So what happens? If nitrogen is not supplied to the packet, oxidation of fat and oil occurs which causes which produces rather which produces a bad smell that is known as rancidity that is known as rancidity so nitrogen is that which is being kept inside the chips packets and all and which causes which prevents the chips from getting oxidized means the so that it does not get spoiled inside the packet so nitrogen keeps it quite fresh and that's why we don't get any smell but if in many of the local chips packets and all we get a kind of bad smell that means already the thing has been spoiled now apart from this we have come finally to the end of this chapter the last thing is types of chemical reactions types of chemical reactions on the basis of on the basis of temperature what are that number 1 is exothermic exothermic when heat is released from a chemical reaction like methane ch4 plus o2 what it will be giving co2 plus 
H2O plus heat. So as you can see over that the heat, this is the heat energy which is being released from the chemical reaction. So this is what we call as exothermic. Exo means released. Thermic means heat energy which is being released out. So remember this type of reactions. And the last one is endothermic. when heat energy is supplied to a chemical reaction many examples are there like co2 plus h2o plus heat energy what do we get c6 h12 o6 if you balance it it will be 6 co2 6 h2o plus heat energy gives plus 38 atp molecules so over here the heat energy i have supplied to the reaction this is why when the heat energy is in the reactant side when i am supplying the heat to the to form a product like this is glucose over here we call this to be as a endothermic reaction so this was all about of the first chapter of your class 10 just go through it if you are having any doubts you can get me available in zoom app every day uh, from 4 30 <coughs> and if you like my video then give us then share it and subscribe to my channel mm -hmm.